Hello my asynchronous class. This is Joyce Fernandes again and I'm going to give you a tour, a quick quick tour of our course site. It has occurred to me that some of you have never had an online class before, ever. And when you signed up for this class, I do not know if they gave you any instruction or orientation. I had students writing to me, they could not get into Blackboard. I hope that's all been changed. Today is January 25th. But this is what you will see. This is our course. And right on this side here is important information right in this, this left-hand column. Right here you'll find the course syllabus with the calendar. Here you'll find the videos that we are going to be viewing the entire semester until week 13. So if you want to get advanced, if you want to see what's coming up, you can look right here. Right here is our textbook. I am asking you to go into the textbook and locate the, the uh, appendix at the very end, the appendix right here. Your first speech, these five areas right here. Please read them more than once. Review them. Let them sink in. See if anything sounds familiar to you from your written communication background. You've all had English classes. Ever since you were in first grade, you were, you know, or maybe preschool learning the alphabet, you know how to read and write. And this is so similar, but this is not written communication, even though some of the foundational truths are the same. It is oral communication, a different delivery. So there's our textbook. Here are PowerPoints that I don't really assign, but they're wonderful at summarizing, encapsulating some of the key concepts in this class. List of our presentations. These are extra class videos. You do not have to go in there, but you might want to look anyway. Handouts, yes, you should familiarize yourself to see if there's any tools that will help you in those handouts. For example, you go right in here. Here's a template for an outline. That might be helpful. There's other handouts that might be helpful. This is the evaluation. This is when I am looking at your presentation. This is what I'm looking for. I'm listening to the words you choose, your vocal, and your visual. So all that is there. Many of these handouts I'll refer to throughout the semester, like right down here, the peer review questions, but they're all housed here. They're yours. You, you go browsing anytime you wish. But every week, you're going to open up the, the folder for that week. This week is week one, and here it is. So I have a checklist. I do not always start with a checklist. In fact, I very seldom do after the first week. Usually, I launch, and you know, just go into the folder, and you can follow right down every single piece that's in here and participate. So that's it. That's the week. Now, this is the student view. This is how you see it. Let me just show you what it's going to look like toward the, at the end of the semester. I'm going to go into teacher view. Do do. It's like magic. Look at all the weeks you're going to have. Week one, week, week two, week three, week four. It goes right down. So every week it's training. And the only way to be trained in a skill, as is public speaking is a skill, is to do it little by little by little. Repetition, repetition and take in what makes sense to you and leave the rest and catch up with it as you go along. You will be surprised how many aha moments you have when you're presenting a speech yourself and then watching your speech back, right? Listening to your peers and when you are listening to other presentations in real time in your classes, on television, at events, you're going to start to get even more aware of best practices of public speaking and connecting to you, discovering you, and realizing that you are more than capable to present a public speech. And not only that, you might even enjoy it. Okay, this is Joyce Fernandes. This was just quick because a few people wrote to me and asked me very, very good questions this morning, especially that they had no clue where to be clicking or where was week one. And I said, I will show you. So I'm glad that I, I um, took this moment and thank you for watching this video. You notice that it is nice and clear on that fuzzy. I figured out what was wrong with my camera. There was nothing wrong with my camera. It was me. I'll tell you another time. 
but it was a quick it was quick and easy and I figured it out by calling the site lab. I taught I spoke with Asani. She was so kind to me. She understood the problem immediately because she's had the same problem and no problems, only solutions and I was on my way. Hope you're having a good first week. Bye everyone.